Are you teaching from home and using Zoom and Nearpod lessons? Are you having students that are constantly asking you for the Nearpod code? So how about this for a solution? You can add your Nearpod code to the background in your Zoom meetings, and then throughout the entire meeting, students will have access to your Nearpod code right here. Steps to create the background are very easy. I just use a website. The example that I'm using is Canva. The first thing we want to do is we want to create a design. And so for this, I'm just going to go ahead and use desktop wallpaper. That'll work out just fine. I'm going to want to put in my Nearpod code. So to do that, I'm going to add a text box, which will allow me to put that in. Now, what I like about Canva is they already have some fun font combinations already built in. For my example, I just chose this one that has a title and a heading. So I have the title and the heading, and I'm gonna move it over to the side. And for the title, I'm going to type in Nearpod, so that's what the students know that I'm looking for. And for the heading, I'm gonna put in our Nearpod code for the live class that I'm having with students. I want this to be larger, so I'm just going to change the font size and make that bigger so that way that stands out. I want to just make it a little bit exciting by adding a Bitmoji. So I've already downloaded Bitmojis and I have another video as far as how to upload those. So I've got my image here, my Bitmoji image, easy as that. I can use the line so it lines up perfectly there. And then now I have lots of open space for me to be during this. And what I wanna do just to make it a little more exciting is add a background color and so then i'm kind of thinking about what would be the best contrast for the students and this is what i'm going with so now i have my background that i'm going to use in my zoom meetings the next step would be to download this background to my computer and then the last step in your zoom meeting is if you click on the arrow and choose your virtual background you want to upload that virtual background by adding an image. 